Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. I suspect that you may have heard that 10,000 steps a day is good for you, but is this based on science? Today we will look at an interesting large-scale long-term study which followed more than 4,800 people over 10 years. Let's see how big the effect of this free lifestyle intervention can be on reducing mortality risk. This is the paper, Association of Daily Step Count and Step Intensity with Mortality Among U.S. Adults. Let's look at some of the details in the paper. As mentioned, there is the idea that more steps is good. Whether this is true and how many is not known. So the aim of this study was to find the dose-response relationship between step count, intensity and mortality. Note intensity means the number of steps per minute, or cadence. They looked at adults, at least 40 years old. The participants wore an accelerometer to measure their average steps for a week and were then followed up until December 2015. The accelerometer measured steps per day and three measures of intensity. And the primary outcome was all-cause mortality with secondary outcomes of cardiovascular disease and cancer mortality. A few more points on the study. It is an observational study so that all, can be, all that can be determined is a correlation, not a causation. The number of subjects is 4,840, which is quite a large set, with a mean age of 56.8 years, of which 54% were women. And the follow-up was for an average of 10.1 years. Here are the results for all-cause mortality in terms of number of people who died per 1,000 participants per year, plotted against the number of steps taken we can see that the mortality rate decreases until 12,000 steps per day, where it flattens out. Here is the same data, but now split up by gender. Interesting to see that according to this graph, the optimum for women is somewhere between 10,000 and 12,000, and then the mortality rate actually increases, whereas for men it seems to continue to improve all the way up to 16,000 steps per day. And here is the data by age. As expected, age is associated with all-cause mortality. And again, for over 12,000, we begin to see a reversal of the effect for those over 65. And here is the data for cardiovascular disease-related deaths, which not surprisingly follows the all-mortality trend. And here for cancer, the trend is less marked, but we can still see that more steps reduce the incidence of death by cancer, and in this case continued even beyond the 12,000 steps. In summary, a greater number of steps was associated with significantly lower all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease and cancer mortality. Here we can see that going from 4,000 to 8,000 steps halves the chance of dying, while 12,000 steps makes it only 35% as likely. Higher step counts were associated with lower all-cause mortality across all the different segments. And one thing to note is that according to this paper, there was no significant association between higher intensity and mortality. So 12,000 steps should be our target. What does this actually mean? Well, walking cadence is normally between 96 and 120 steps per minute. So for simplicity, let's make it 100. That means that 12,000 steps would take two hours. We recently went for a walk and it took us about one hour, 40 minutes to reach 12,000 steps. We also run, and here our cadence is about 175 steps per minute, so 12,000 steps would take about 68 minutes. It's really good to see some concrete data on how many steps is best and how many is too much. This is a free intervention which does not require special equipment and significantly reduces mortality risk, in fact by up to 65%. The main point is not that you have to do 12,000 steps a day, but as you can see from the chart, the benefits start as soon as you increase the number of steps that you take. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.